Apologies, my other uh, video got cut off. So we added the Coombs Control, um, which are IgG coded um, RBCs, and that means that if the um, if the polyspecific reagent was still in there after or at the end of the AHG phase, then they should bind to the check cells, and we should get some kind of reaction. So I pulled them out. And we got a little bit of something in the D, which is to be expected, but I don't know what happened to the DU. Um, before we added the check cells, um, we did get the results that were expected from our original testing. We had a negative D and a negative DU. Now, if you have a positive D control, which would be the DU for the weak D testing, um, then that would be an invalid test. Uh, because remember, we don't have any, uh, we have all the ingredients of the regular anti-D reagent. However, um, so the additives and everything, but it doesn't have the D in it or the anti-D in it. So it should always be negative. Um, so our test ended up being great because it was, um, the D was negative and so was the D control. So this person truly is B negative.